So if you find you're getting a lot of spam coming through, um, if you use Gmail, it should just be filtering it straight over to your spam folder. But if it's not, you can create a filter just by going to create a filter. And then in the subject line, um, put in the curly brace spam question mark curly brace. And then you can test it and see if it's getting all of it. And it does. And then you can click on next step. And you can delete it and create the filter. That will delete all of the email that comes in from then on with that um, curly brace. Now, if you have to do it for multiple people um, that you administrate, you can go over to your control panel, get logged in, and then go straight to your mail scanner configuration. Now, Low scoring spam is anything that has the uh, spam question mark and curly braces. High scoring spam is going to be anything that has the definitely spam. And you may or may not even see that. But you can go in and you can edit your mail scanner configuration. And you can whitelist people that you want to get through if you have suppliers or vendors that you do business with um, to let their email come in. So right here you just go to email, black, and whitelist settings and then you can say that you always want email to come in for a particular domain or you can also blacklist a whole uh, group of people you can say that you never want to see email from somebody else you've also got some other settings here um, you can if you start seeing things that are all, more spam than necessary you can lower the score to four for example and see if that gets rid of it or you can raise the score if you're seeing a lot. So you can adjust those right there. Um, and then if you have your low scoring spam, you can set it to deliver so that you can see possible um, positives that, are, that shouldn't be, but you can always delete your high scoring spam. So you have options there. You can whitelist people that you always wanna see. You can um, set it to uh, delete, deliver the low scoring spam or delete the high scoring spam, or you could set it to delete both or you could set it to deliver it to a spam box so that you can change it. It updates those changes every 10 minutes, so it will take a little bit for those to become effective, but it's a great way to uh, get rid of the spam that the system is catching but is still getting through so that you can manually um, process it.